hi guys and welcome back to another video tutorial from a back play so in today's segment i kind of want to do something a little bit different focused on um using my cameras i had several attempts of trying to get a really nice video um showing um using the very standard webcam so today i had my dslr and i thought you know what there must be a solution for me to use my dslr um, camera as a webcam on my computer so I, I can achieve better quality images or better quality video um, at the bottom of my screen where I normally show uh, myself when I'm doing the tutorials. So we're going to see if we can get this Nikon D3300 um, used as a webcam on the desktop computer. I'll show you guys how that is done. Alright, so some of the things you're going to need. One, you're going to need your DSLR camera. Um, I'm using a Nikon D3300. Um, I'm not sure if this software will work with other um, cameras, but the software that we'll be using is a Digicam Control, um, and I'll download that free offline. That's an open source software, along with your HDMI to USB adapter um, that probably comes in your camera kit anyway. Um, apart from that, I use OBS Studio to do my recordings whenever I'm doing screen recordings. And so I wanted again to just have a high quality webcam that I could use with the OBS Studio. Um, OBS Studio does not give you the opportunity to simply plug in that DSLR camera and use it. Um, therefore, I'll have to find a, a little tweak or a little workaround just to get that high quality video to show. Um, what we're going to do is that, and, I, and I, I will explain it as we go along, is that we're going to plug in this camera, have the Digicam control running, and they will just capture the screen that the Digicam control is showing. And then we'll be able to display that back to our screen while we're doing our tutorials. So let's see how that works. All right, so I already have my camera plugged in to the computer via the HDMI to USB adapter um, that I have there. And I'm going to look for the software called Digicam control. So I'm just Googling that and to get it downloaded. So we're looking at Digicam Control. Uh, we're looking at the one for Windows. So yeah, download. And we will use, we we'll use a stable version. So I mean, I'll use there are some other ones. But let's use a stable version. So we'll get that downloaded and we'll see how that works. All right, so now that we have that downloaded, um, what we want to do is to run that software again. It's a Digicam control. Um, we'll just install, there's nothing special about the and there I set up process is just to go through the process and have it installed and it should recognize your um, camera as soon as that installation is completed. Sorry, I'm sweating here because I have to fan off uh, so I could get the audio clear. So next, I'll accept. Uh, it's okay. I install. It goes through the process of setting up that Digicam control. Um, again, what we'll do is that we'll use this just to capture what the camera is pushing out. And remember, we're using the DSLR camera because we are looking for quality. Um, and that quality, of course, should be better than what your regular standard um, webcam has to offer. And of course, if you have a DSLR um, laying around the house that you use to for your photography, um, then there's no need for you to go back and buy or purchase uh, additional webcam just so that you can do your small tutorials and so on, place them online. So finish and close and so we're looking for that software it's right here on my desktop digicam control and this is nice to also use as a screen um, so you can view your camera you can view what you're doing on screen as you're recording of course it's i think it will be 
of greater benefit if you're using dual screens. Um, for, in this instance, I'm only using a single screen, and so I have to capture that screen itself. All right, our first move then, and it already picked up my Nikon. Um, the first thing that is, let's go to live. So live view. And I heard that camera kick in, and it's trying to focus already, right? So live view. Um, let's have it out of focus, what it does. There we go. And of course, you can play around with some of the controls from this um, particular camera. So essentially, that is what we want. We want that we can capture images from our DSLR. Um, and so I'm going to, there's a bunch of controls here that you can use to change stuff if you wanted to, right? Um, I could lock in the focus if I know that I'll be certain distance and I may want to lock in that focus. Um, in this case, I won't do that. Uh, but one of the things to this is that you want to reduce it down as a window. Um, and so we'll just minimize down the window um, that is used for the camera itself. And then we'll have the software, our OBS Studio, pick up that software. And I'll see you can manage all of this now that I'm recording. Yeah. All right, so live view. The camera should work on its focus. Um, we're not recording anything. Um, for this step, all you need to do is to just minimize the window that you have open. So minimize or restore down. So that it's capturing a window. And I notice that I have to do this twice for some reason or the other. I have to do it twice so that I can actually capture the screen. So that's my window that I'm working with. I have my camera in auto focus right now. Uh, I should need to get that out of the way. All right, so the idea is that we want to capture this particular window that's here. And so I'll need to kind of narrow down this later on within the OBS software. So in OBS, I would go to my source and add, and we'll do window capture. Window capture, I'll call it my DSLR capture. You can name that whatever you want. Okay. Uh, so this is the window we're catching. Um, we can use... I don't want to capture cursor, so I'll change that. And we're at camera control live view, which is what I want. Uh, we want to crop this out so that it only shows this small piece. So you can hold down the Alt key and just crop in what you don't want shown on the screen. So for example, I don't want any of that showing on the screen. Uh, the bottom part, I guess. Yeah. Right, so that's about what I want to see. Now without using the Alt, I'll just drag this down. I'll place right beside this one. Uh, and you, you can already see the difference in quality um, that the DSLR offers, right? Um, the camera that I'm using is actually an HD720 webcam that I have, so the, it's just to show you the process of how you attach your DSLR to your computer and use it as a webcam. Um, you need to get rid of that um, zoom area too that I also left there. So that's pretty much it. When, once you capture the window itself, um, then the window is what will be displayed when you're recording your videos. So if I, if I were to just then, I can't minimize that because that is what I'm capturing, right? I should still be capturing that particular window in my OBS studio, which, which it's doing, right? And so we can see both of them moving along. And so I, I would be able then to just either hide the show or have it show both. 
right? Depends on the angle that I'm using. So I could I could use it maybe as an additional webcam, right? So that's pretty much it. You're using OBS Studio to capture or, or use your DSLR as a webcam um, for this particular reason of wanting a better quality image. And I have, I have the DSLR laying around, so why not use it instead of going to the store and buying a uh, webcam? And of course, this will allow me to also capture images um, that, and have it stream online if I wanted to. I'm not sure about the delay factor, but I can use it to stream better quality videos online as, to, as opposed to having my webcam for that particular video capture um, initiative. So and that's it. If you, I hope you, I hope that you liked the video. Um, leave a comment if you have any thing that might change. I, I'm not aware of any other process that works in terms of having my DSLR connected to my um, my system unit and working as a webcam. Um, if you know about any additional software, please leave it in the comment below. Let's share. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit the notification bell. If, these, if you like these type of videos, also let me know in the comment below um, so I could do more of these videos. But in the meantime, guys, just go geek yourself.